bedlam is done as soon as Oklahoma joins the SEC. Now, obviously, you hate to see rivalries go away. And it's interesting to me that the sourcing for Brett McMurphy's story over at Action Network actually came from the Oklahoma State side. Uh, the AD, uh, Chad Weiberg, said, uh, if, uh, excuse me, it presents logical issues under our current scheduling structure. We don't have any openings to play them. We're full. Unless there are significant undertakings to make the game happen, it can't happen. The Oklahoma AD, Joe Castiglione, Oklahoma State has shown no interest to schedule any future games of football, so we are moving on with filling our future non-conference uh, openings. Um, now, don't get me wrong here. I, I would love to continue to see this game. But what this is saying to me, and, and let me make it clear, I do not blame them for this. Uh, Oklahoma State either is really, really mad about Oklahoma leaving without them, or just leaving, period. Uh, or two, this is an easy way to get that game off of your schedule to where you don't have to worry about it anymore. Like, it is, it is beneficial for Oklahoma to continue this series. Let's not get it twisted. I understand last year happened. Right? Oklahoma State won that game last year. But they have not won a lot of games in this matchup. Mike Gundy does not have a good record at all against uh, against Oklahoma at all. I mean, just it, it doesn't matter who the coach is. Like, it, this is, when you look at all the different games that they could schedule, Oklahoma State, that would be beneficial to them, especially when you're talking about making a playoff. Uh, yeah, it would make sense for them to not play this game. So this seems like, I mean, just read the quote again. It, playing Oklahoma presents logis uh, logistical issues under our current scheduling structure. What What is your current scheduling structure under uh, or with the Big 12? What is that? Right? Uh, he said, we don't have any openings to play them. We're full unless there are significant undertakings to make the game happen. It can't happen. Okay, I understand that your non-conference schedule is probably full. But the whole conference just got uprooted. I don't believe there's been an announcement made as to what the schedule looks like as far as the conference goes going forward. You've got three non-conference schedules. I, I would imagine the Big 12 is probably going to play nine conference games, but we don't necessarily know that because you're moving to 12 teams. So if you're moving to 12 teams... Uh, you can play six division games and or just keep no divisions and just rotate. Like, there's no telling what they will end up doing with this. So, unless I've missed something, and you guys can fill me in on this, I would imagine that there is a way for them to continue this. But, regardless, it, it definitely would make more sense for Oklahoma State to want to get out of this game. Just saying. Now, that's, I don't blame them for that because, my gosh, uh, Oklahoma has been a juggernaut in that conference. But, yeah, just saying, just saying. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.